Hello everyone, my name is Dipendra and I welcome you all on the behalf of Creative Edge. In this video of aptitude, we will talk about the topic compound interest. Compound interest is an extension of simple interest. If you have understood the topic simple interest, you can understand compound interest as well. Well, when it comes to understanding compound interest, you need to understand that simple interest had an anomaly. The anomaly was this, that whatever interest was getting generated, that interest was not getting added to the principal. Because whatever interest is getting generated year after year, that interest still stays with the person who has borrowed the money. And he is not returning that money every year after year. He is returning that money when the entire amounts get accumulated and after the entire duration, finally when he comes back to you, when he returns you the total amount, in that amount, the principal in interest is returned to you. So the total duration when passes, that is when the entire interest, interest along with the principal gets returned to you. Well, what compound interest does is, it keeps on adding the interest generated to the principal. So what happens in compound interest is that the principal keeps getting updated every year if the rate of interest is applied per annum. I understand it is theoretically a little difficult to understand. So let me take an example and make you understand this concept in a better language. What you will understand is compound interest is not just a concept which is used for compound interest or the questions related to which are based on compound interest. Well, there are a lot of questions which are related to appreciation, you know, the depreciation of a particular asset or uh, maybe the questions related to population increase or decrease, certain these sort of questions can be done if you understand again the basic functionality of compound interest for example let's take a question and let's understand it better imagine what are we told again i'm not going to teach you a formula i'll just try and teach you the basic understanding if you have understood it well you can easily crack this let's forget this 32,000 in two years for a while and uh, let's make it three years that will make you understand it better let's understand this rate of interest first of all so what are we doing here? This bank is charging a rate of interest 10%. However, this 10% rate of interest is compounded annually. You need to understand that. Now, there earlier, simple interest ke questions mein, 10% means 1 by 10 or thus pay 1 rupee as an interest each year you'll keep getting. But that was a problem which has been introduced or removed by compound interest. And here this problem will get resolved. How are we going to work that out? Let's understand that better. We all know 10% in the language of fractions is 1 by 10. Now, what is the significance of 1 by 10? Sir, agar 10 up principal amount kisi ko borrow ya lend karte hain, to obviously 1 is going to be the interest in one year. Dhyan se suniyega aur samajhega everyone. Instead of 10, just to make you understand, I'm taking the figures a little differently. For example, instead of 36,000, had it been 1,000. I'm just trying to make you understand this question in a better language. Obviously, we'll be able to solve this with the help of 36,000 as well. But let's solve this with respect to 1,000 so that you can understand this functionality better. So imagine the principal 1,000 is being taken at this 10% rate of interest. What is going to happen in the first year? Well, had it been simple interest and what happens when it is compound interest? Let's compare both so that you get more clarity on simple interest and compound interest. We all know we just need to evaluate 10% of 1000. So whenever you wish to evaluate 10% of a number, you divide it by 10 and you can get the 10% of a number. So 10,000, 1000, 10% is going to be 100. So logically, if you first year ka simple interest evaluate karne wale ho, to first year ka simple interest on this 1000 ka principal would have been 100, right? Well, the story would change in the second year for compound interest, obviously. Well, if the same principal second year, because I have given the money for 3 years, so second year, bhi, the principal would remain same according to the calculation done on the basis of simple interest, right? So second year also, the principal will remain 1000 and 1000 ka 10% will remain 100. Even for the third year as well, the simple interest is going to remain same. Or if you have 1000 rupees, 10% rate of interest, pe kisi ko dete hai, teen saalo mein, the total interest which you will be able to generate is going to be 3000. Well, the story changes slightly when it gets shifted to compound interest. What happens there? Let's understand it better. Well, in the first year, the principal, whether simple interest or compound interest, the principal will remain principal because no interest has been accumulated so far. So the principal is 1000 and 10% 10 on 1000 is going to be 100. So whether it is simple interest or compound interest, 
10% of principal is always 100 or it will always same in the very first year. The story changes a little in the second year. What happens in the second year? Please understand that. In the second year, obviously, please pay attention. A lot of attention, a lot of calculation is going to happen here. In the second year, now the principal will not be just 1000. In the second year, you will say that you don't have just 1000 of mine. You have this 100 as well of mine, which you were, which you were supposed to have written after one year, because this is the interest which has been created in one year. So this interest he's keeping with himself and he is keeping with himself. This 100 should also be considered along with the principal. So now when the principal gets updated in the second year, principal is not just 1000, the principal is 1000 plus 100. Why 100? Because ek saal ka jo interest generate hai, this interest he is keeping with himself. So jo paisa hai, which is basically yours, he is keeping with himself. So why shouldn't you apply this rate of interest on this interest as well? As well. So compound interest is nothing but interest on interest, which means if you have a principal in the beginning, which you have interest in rate 100, the so second year, the updated principal now should be 1000, the original principal plus the 100, the accumulated interest so far. Or obviously, we need not discuss the 10% of 1100 is 110, 1100 Q, because 1000 plus 100. And if I say this, so 1000 10% is 100 plus is 100 10% should be 10. So this is how in the second year, you're getting this extra 10. Why are you getting this extra 10? Basically simple interest, second year be 100 tha, compound interest be 100 ho tha. Lekin aapko ye 10 extra mil hai because this 10 is the 10% of this previous year's takka interest. I hope you are understanding that clearly. Well, continuing further, you need to understand in the third year when it comes to considering or evaluating the interest, now the principal will again get updated. How is, going, how is it going to get updated? See, the principal in the first year was 1000. Obviously, this was the actual or the original principal. But so far, how much interest we have accumulated? This much interest he is keeping with himself, which he is supposed to return after every year. But this is not what he is returning. So this is what which belongs to you, which is your money. He is keeping with himself for another year. So for one more year, I am supposed to apply 10% on this money as well. How much is this? 100 was the interest on first year. Deko, ye jo 10 tha na, this 10 was the 10% of this 100 for the second year. Well, this same 100 he kept for the third year as well. So I need to apply 10% on this 100 for another year. So 10% on this 100 will get applied. Along with this, 10% on this 100 and this 10 will also get applied. So overall, compound interest is a very basic principle where you apply interest on interest. Apply karte jate yani har saal principle update hota hai. What is the principle? The principle is the amount of total amount. Just be your principle, yani just be your interest evaluate karne ja rahe, compound interest. So now, the amount of total amount, hua hai. what is the amount? Principle plus interest. That becomes the updated principle. Now, aap dhyan se suniye. So in the third year, when this interest is going to get evaluated, this is going to be 10% of this updated principle. What is what is it going to be? Obviously, first of all, 100, which is the 10% of principle, then 10% of this 100, then 10% of this 100, then 10% 10 of this 10 as well, which is going to be 1. I hope you're realizing 1000 plus 100 plus 100 plus 10, that 10% is this number right now if you evaluate ki teen saal mein total compound interest kitna generate hua hai, so that is 100 plus 100 plus 100 300 10 plus 10 plus 10 30 plus 1 so this is going to be 331 now that is the difference this 31 you jo extra difference are this is getting generated because we have applied interest on interest which is being done under the concept compound interest well obviously you need not do all this this structure this table was made to make you understand how does it behave well, how are we going to solve these questions? Maybe not using the formula through a little different approach. Now, what is that approach? Let's solve this question through that approach and let's understand this concept better. Please understand. In the chapter of ratios, you have been taught the process of scaling. What does scaling do? Scaling basically helps you a lot in bringing two different ratios on common scale. What do we do? Let me just demonstrate here, demonstrate here through this question. A bank charges a rate of interest 10% compounded annually. We have just learned 10% is nothing but 1 by 10. Now, what is the significance of 1 by 10? 1 by 10 simply means if 
10 is the principal which is being invested one would be the interest which will get generated after one year and obviously because of this one the total amount which you are supposed to get after one year is going to be 11 because if you are 10 invest kar rahe ho, to 10 ka 10 percent is one and if you are 10 invest kar rahe ho as a principal to ek saal baad jo total amount which you are going to receive is going to be 10 plus one one is the interest 10 is the principal so 10 plus one total 11 is what you are supposed to get after one year you need to understand if principal initially was 10 the amount after one year is going to be 11. Now, please understand you. I hope you remember in the second year, this should be considered as the new principal. We have just discussed second year, jo naya principal hoga, wo hoga, pichle saal tak total accumulated amount, yani principal plus interest. So, ab jab main second year interest calculate karunga, to second year interest calculate karte vaak, this 10 is not going to be considered the principal anymore. Now the updated principal needs to be the principal plus interest jo abhi tak jane duwa, yane abhi tak ka jo amount hai, wo ab hamara principal consider hoga. Yane, ab mujhe is amount ko principal, yane isse 10% se increase kane ki darat hai. 10% ka increment we have just cracked, 10% ka increment hota hai, 10 ka 11, 10 ka 11, 10 ka 11, and if you increase this amount, ko main 10% se increase kar 10% se increase karna humne ratios pe, ek dousri scaling wali process se sikha hai, if I wish to increase this 11 by 10%, what I'll do is, I'll apply 10 and 11, somewhat like this, I hope you remember it from the video or from the chapter which we have done on ratios if you haven't or if you are not able to understand this process i request you to watch the video we have done on ratios you'll get more clarity what did i do second year ka amount calculate karte waqt jo first year tak ka amount tha usse maine principal consider kiya aur us amount ko 10% se increase kiya 11 ko obviously 10% se increase kiya ja sakta hai but main numbers ko integer format mein atomic format mein simplified rakhna cha raha hu so main 10 ka 11 wala scaling is pe apply kar raha hu i hope you remember this process so what happens when you do that obviously i hope you remember scaling wala process this 10 into 10 would make it 100 and this 11 into 11 will make it 121 i hope you remember this 10 we multiply above and this 11 we multiply below this is what we used to do while bringing them on two different ratios on same scale right so if you are investing 100 at 10 percent ka compound interest annually agar ho raha hai to basically 100 rupees pe aap 121 rupees bana loge halaki kahani yahan khatam nahi ho rahi hai kahani 3 saal tak chali maan lo ek question 3 years ka hota to this amount too should have been considered the new principal while calculating the amount for the third year which simply means now this 121 needs to be increased by 10 percent agar 121 ko 10 percent increase karna hai yani 121 ko agar main 10 assume karu so third year ka amount 11 hoga. I hope again you have understood the process of scaling kaise kaam karti hai. So process of scaling will bring me. Again, ye main bohat basic manner mein samjhani ki koshish karo. Iske baad main ek aur third approach dunga through which you can solve questions based on compound interest in instantly, spontaneously within fractions of seconds. How? We'll learn that. But please understand the basic principle first. Because tricks tabhi kaam karti hai jab aap techniques seek chuke hote hai. क्योंकि जहां क्वेश्चन में कोई डेटा है कोई जरा सा भी माइन्यूट चेंज आया ट्रिक्स फेल हो जाते हैं और अगर आपने सही टेक्निक्स सीखी हैं तो उनसे आप हमेशा ट्रिक्स डेवलप कर सकते हैं सो वर्क ऑन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स ऑलवेज दिस 121 नाउ नीड्स टू बी इंक्रीज्ड बाय 10% अगेन 121 and 121 into 11, 11 ka cube, this is going to be 1331. So logically or basically, kabhi bhi, this is all happening on ratio scale, which is what you need to understand. Nothing is actual. Yani ki, sir, agar principal initially, first year mein, 1000 invest ho raha hai. So 10% ki compounding annually agar place ki ja rahi hai, to 3 saal ke baad, jo total amount bane ga, wo 1331 ga. Agar mujhse poochha jai ki 3 saal ka compound interest kya hoga, so wo kya hoga? Total amount minus principal, which is going to be 331 which is exactly what we got here although what i'm trying to teach you here is there is a little or a slightly different approach as well to this question although this is nothing but the extension of the previous approach but you can think like this 10 percent compounding annually for three years 10 percent we all know is one by ten if you have ten principal then one should be the interest so amount should be principal plus interest one year which is eleven and if you are investing ten rupees then one year the amount you will get will be eleven अब वापस इस अमाउंट को प्रिंसिपल कंसीडर करके सेकंड ईयर का अमाउंट इवैल्यूएट होगा तो वापस इसको मैं 10% से इंक्रीज करूंगा और वापस जब थर्ड ईयर का अमाउंट कैलकुलेट होना है तो सेकंड ईयर के अमाउंट को प्रिंसिपल कंसीडर किया जाएगा 
तो सेकेंड ईयर के अमाउंट को प्रिंसिपल करके कंसिडर करके उसे टेन परसेंट से इंक्रीज करेंगे सो दिस इज हाउ टेन इज टू इलेवन टेन इज टू इलेवन एंड टेन इज टू इलेवन इज बिंग अपलाइक थ्राइस ना बहुत बेसिक सी अप्रोच है हमेशा याद रखिए अगर मुझे प्रिंसिपल इस टू थर्ड ईयर के अमाउंट का रेशो निकालना है तो उसके लिए एक स्टैंडर्ड सा अप्रोच होता है आप इन एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज को मल्टीप्लाई कर दीजिए एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज को मल्टीप्लाई करने का मतलब है मल्टीप्लाई दिस टेन विद दिस टेन विद दिस टेन सो टेन इंटू टेन इंटू टेन इस क्लियरली वन थाउजेंड एंड अगर राइट मोस्ट एक्सट्रीम का रेशो पता करना है तो वो हो जाएगा दिस इलेवन इज टू इलेवन इज टू इलेवन विच इज गोइंग टू बी वन थ्री 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 वन दिस इज ऑल्सो हाउ कैन इजिली क्रैक दीज क्वेश्चन वेल इन रियालिटी प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड यू डिड नॉट इन्वेस्ट थाउजेंड you invested 36000 so this was the data which was there on ratio scale right humse kya puchha ja raha hai the total amount to be paid agar humse interest bhi pucha jata tha 3 saal ka to wo kya hota 1331 minus 1000 that would have been 331 but on actual scale this 1000 jo ki ratio scale pe principal hai in reality this is 36000 i hope i need not discuss this what is going to happen i hope you know this process we will evaluate the multiplying factor the multiplying factor would be 1000 को किस वैल्यू से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे 36000 आ जाए और इन अ बेटर लैंग्वेज 36000 डिवाइडेड बाय 1000 इज गोइंग टू बी द मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर व्हिच इज 36 वी ऑल नो द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द रिलेवेंस ऑफ दिस 36 द मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर रिमेंस सेम मतलब अगर मुझसे टोटल 3 साल का अमाउंट पूछा जाता तो मैं 1331 जो रेशियो स्केल पर वैल्यू उसको सेम मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर से मल्टीप्लाई करके एक्चुअल आंसर निकाल लूंगा अगर मुझसे 3 साल का इंटरेस्ट सिर्फ पूछा जाता तो मैं 331 को 36 से मल्टीप्लाई करके आंसर निकाल लूंगा What you need to understand is initially this approach might look a little difficult to you. Or if you say, sir, we would still like to stick with the formula, but we formula say, can I say? Internally, formula also compound interest ka yehi calculation perform karta hai. But the formula tab tak valid hai, toh toh cheeze baat structured hai. Or aapke aptitude ke exam mein maths ke questions nahi aayenge. Matlab basic standard formula based questions nahi aayenge. Tricky questions aayenge. Jahan par aapko basic foundation, basic principle of compound interest samajhana zaruri hai, jo help karega har variety ke questions ko solve karne mein. This is why we are emphasizing or learning techniques instead of tricks. Well, with that, I think you have gotten a lot of insights on compound interest. For more practice, you can always log on to our website. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.